Good morning from Ketchikan, Alaska. Here's the Norwegian Bliss. The famous Wyland artwork on the front. So I guess this is a new Norwegian pier. Um, it's beautiful. It looks to be about a 15 minute ride in the vehicle to downtown where all the stuff you want to see is. So we'll see how this works. We booked a excursion to do a trolley ride that leaves at uh, 10 o'clock and is two hours long. We have to be back on board by 12.45. We got here at seven. We were able to get off the ship by 7.30. They have a shuttle to downtown. It leaves starting at 9. And the last one comes back at 11. So I don't know if we're going to do our... I don't know if we're going to do our trolley excursion. Might have been a waste of money. It says it has short stops for photo and shopping opportunities, but I want to walk down Fish Creek Street or whatever it's called. So, yeah, I'm kind of not too happy at this point about the situation, but we'll have to deal with it. There she is. Well, this is kind of neat looking, but I'd rather see pitch a can than a uh, shopping building in court. So we decided to take the uh, shuttle bus into town here. Uh, excursion, uh, the trolley excursion we were going to be on, they said it was a very short stop for a photo op and shopping. And that's, I'm not here for a single photo op and a little bit of shopping. I want to see down how I'm catching it. Visitor Center in Ketchikan. So if you want to do tours and not pay the price on the ship, morning, you can do it from here. This is Front Street. You get the sidewalk roped off so you can't cross here. You got to use the crossing. So anyway, we'll try this one more time. As I was saying, the one thing I'm probably not going to get to do that I wanted to do was have Alaskan king crab. We will see here. Nice shops down here. Oh wow. Ketchikan, Alaska, set at the southernmost entrance to Alaska's famed Inside Passage, a network of waterways that snake through some of the most jaw-droppingly beautiful wilderness in the world. Ketchikan is best known for three things, feisty salmon, beautiful scenery, and an incredibly rich Alaska Native culture. Due to a thriving century-old commercial fishery, Ketchikan is known as the salmon capital of the world. 
The city is proud of their fishing culture and passionate about providing opportunities for visitors to catch and or otherwise enjoy the best seafood on the planet. With a population at the 2020 census of 8,100 plus, it is the sixth most populous city in the state. The surrounding borough encompassing suburbs both north and south of the city along the Tongass Highway, plus small rural settlements accessible mostly by water, increased the area's population to almost 14,000. Incorporated on August 25, 1900, Ketchikan is the earliest incorporated city in Alaska. Ketchikan is named after Ketchikan Creek, which flows through the town, emptying into the Tongass Narrows a short distance southeast of its downtown. Ketchikan comes from the Tlingit name for the creek. A major and first port of entry into Alaska, Ketchikan's economy has been based on fishing industries, canneries in particular, tourism, government, and forestry. Oh my god, outside. <laughs> she don't like fish. Well, she don't like the smell or taste of fishy fish. It smells wonderful in here. Breathe it. It's like, uh, a lot ducked into the shop over there and there's something in there. I don't know if they got something burning or whatever. I immediately said, I'm out of here. I walked out the door and sneezed. Does she? I had not for my nose. So what's what's uh tell me what's the difference? Well, I mean, this is the uh, smoked silver salmon. That's a sockeye. That's the king. That's our salmon spread. So all salmons have they command different prices, different quality of fish. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Sockeye is considered yeah. the best smoked. It has that unique okay. diet, like cool and plankton, so it has a real deep red color. Okay. The king's the richest, the biggest, the oiliest, and the silver's in between basically. And this guy here is our salmon spread. We take this can and we add some cream cheese and a little lemon juice and some lemon pepper and voila. So All the cans are hand up. Best, huh? I would think so. It's been our best seller for 30 years. Yeah, I know. Sockeye, you can't go wrong with it. It's, it's a pretty good fish for smoking. The king salmon has been the runs of it so far, period. The what? <laughs> the king salmon runs have been so poor up here. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Wow. She loses. Yeah, you all don't, don't do that. Not a good thing. So I highly recommend a stop by Simply Salmon here. They have some wonderful canned salmon here. It's just really awesome. You get to taste some. I ended up buying a couple cans of it to take home. And uh, highly recommend you stop by here. Simply Salmon. The area near the mouth of Ketchikan Creek earned Ketchikan a measure of infamy during the first half of the 20th century for a red light district known as Creek Street, with brothels aligned on either side of the creek. Ketchikan has the world's largest collection of standing totem poles found throughout the city. Many of the totems are recarvings of older poles, a practice that began during the Roosevelt administration through the Civilian Conservation Corps. The Totem Heritage Center displays preserved 19th century poles rescued from abandoned village sites near Ketchikan. The Chief Cayenne Pole in Whale Park in the city center is one of the featured background images in most U.S. passports. Do you have king crab? No, we don't. You don't? No, we don't see okay. It's probably why the other place isn't open, Alaskan yeah. king crab. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. Mm. They, okay. they didn't fish for crab this year. Thank you.
Ketchikan receives a large number of tourists, both by air and sea, due to its popularity as a cruise ship stop. In 2018, Ketchikan Harbor saw 40 different cruise ships making more than 500 stops in the harbor and bringing more than 1 million visitors to Ketchikan. Try some crab, Alaskan king crab there, Miss Lynn. Oh no. Come on, be a crazy lady. Try some crab. <laughs> oh look at it, we get a skyline view here. Yeah, Whoa. nice. <laughs> Welcome to King Crab. It ain't open. It ain't open. But they're not open. I can't believe it. Now I'm really disappointed catching. And the Alaska King Cat Crab Company is not open. People, first cruise ship, 200 plus travel agents, a bunch of media people, YouTube bloggers, need to be open. The Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show is performed near Ketchikan Creek between May and September. The many shops and restaurants in the area thrive on its tourist economy. Being literally the first cruise ship of the season, not all the shops and restaurants were open during our visit. Also, the short amount of time we had in port really limited what we were able to do and see. Someday, we would like to take a week to visit and enjoy all Ketchikan has to offer. I have to say it's kind of neat, but not a fan.
not a fan at all. I was talking to someone in town, they didn't even know this had shops in it. They were not too happy. And they got the same stuff you buy. Look at the magnets and all that. These are neat. Coconut rum, Irish cream, Grand Monet, and ginger. What's in a moose nugget? <laughs> so it's like a pretzel and peanut butter inside, and then we dip it in chocolate. No nuts, though. <laughs> no. That's what this is? Yep. This is some of my favorites. They're really good. They look good. They sound good. <laughs> Behind you. See that eagle? You see it? The white head? Get up there. We can maybe get a closer picture. Norwegian Bliss in Ketchikan. Or half day morning in Ketchikan is coming to an end. Uh, beautiful. I'm going to come back and um, come back for a week and enjoy it here, I think, is what I'd like to do. Get a hotel, maybe rent a car, maybe drive up here. Drive here from Wisconsin? Again, kind of disappointed in uh, Norwegian's decision to come down to this end to Ward Cove. 20 minute drive on a shuttle bus, 20 minute drive back. So that's 40 minutes of our day coming through where we can't, uh, where we can't, um, enjoy the city and we're only here from 7 until 12:45. So, anyway, we got to check into security here. much more to see and do here. I mean, if you wanted to do a nice excursion, yeah. you can't. You can't do an excursion and visit uh, this, the town, maybe enjoy some Alaskan king crab, things of that nature. Yeah. Beautiful day, but too short for me. So. Thank you.